Well, I suppose uh, that 2022 will forever be marked down as a year of political carnival at Westminster, but overshadowed, of course, in perhaps less amusing fashion uh, by the war in Ukraine. And I know that a lot of people will have talked about Putin and talked about uh, Zelensky and, and you know, the actual politics of it. But I think what it gave us an opportunity to do as a programme was to zoom in on some really incredibly inspiring human stories. Uh, we had... Uh, um, football fan Stephen Carr, who's a Hibernian FC a supporter, and he and the football club managed to bring over a whole orphanage of kids from Dnipro along with their social workers and house them um, in Scotland. And it was just such an incredible story of sort of human endeavour and how we can all make a difference if we just focus on, on something and, and, and really, really push hard. Uh, and another inspiring person, again, on the sort of sidelines, if you will, of, of what was happening in Ukraine was the um, brilliant chef Olya Hercules, who talked to us about trying to get her family out of Ukraine and also her initiative Cook for Ukraine which uh, sort of launched her into the uh, social media stratosphere and she's been back a couple of times in fact she was back on the show quite recently telling us about the incredible feast that Ukrainians uh, have uh, at Christmas and made me feel slightly exhausted at the thought of making all those courses I can tell you but she remains really an inspiration and then there was a brilliant moment when we got to talk to uh, Ukraine's Graham Norton Timur uh, Miro Shenyichenko uh, who was uh, in a bunker in Kyiv doing his commentary on the Eurovision Song Contest and just in terms of just the incongruity of war and how it juxtaposes something as ridiculous and crazy as the Eurovision Song Contest with this terrible war with missiles raining down on Kyiv and this guy sat in a bunker reporting um, just really brought home, um, you know, how how war affects all of us in, in one shape uh, or another. So we, we did a lot of those human stories um, and I felt that um, in many ways it was one of those heartening things that reminded you uh, of how great human beings can be in adversity because, uh, let's face it, there was a lot of very bad news in 2022 and a lot of hardship for a lot of people. So to see what people could do faced with the worst kind of hardship um, was in its way heartwarming. I guess. And then, of course, we've got our 2 p.m. slots, which are our big interview slots. And we've just talked to so many people, I can barely remember half of them. Emma Thompson, Fat Tony, the DJ who talked about spending a million pounds on drugs in the space of 10 years and living to tell the tale, which is pretty spectacular in itself. Graham Norton, who I interviewed at the Cheltenham Literary Festival and both of us innocently chatting about cancel culture. I had no idea how viral that might go. Um, I can't remember. I think it got to a million at last count. Um, then we had five million. I can't remember how many. I think it got to five million at last count, which is just extraordinary. Um, and actually, you know, what he said was interesting, but not necessarily that controversial, but it certainly provoked uh, a reaction. We had Will Young, um, opening up about his childhood of, of sexual abuse and violence at school in an incredibly honest and frank and painful um, expose, if you will. Um, Mariam Claren, who is this incredible woman who's battling to get her mother out of jail in Tehran. And she talked to me in the aftermath of Nazarin Zaghari Radcliffe being re released from jail. And, you know, it was a timely reminder of the fact that although Nazarin was in the headlines as free, uh, there's a lot of women still locked up in Iran for... Uh, things that you and I might do on a daily basis. And then, of course, national treasure, uh, Prue Leith, who revealed shock horror headline grabbing the fact that she's been on HRT uh, for the last 40 years. And she's sort of slightly kept it secret, but she came out and um, it was yet another highlight of the year when it came to menopause campaigning, because I am, of course, uh, chair of Menopause Mandate. And we finally managed to grab the headlines and get some traction in terms of politicians taking seriously what women in this country um, have been going through completely disregarded uh, for hundreds of years.
One of the other great things about last year, which I'm really looking forward to bringing back in 2023, is Books to Live By, uh, my podcast, where I talk to a whole array of people from every single walk of life, but all kind of luminaries in their field. We had some amazing guests in 2022, actress Laura Linney, uh, the war photographer Don McCullen, national treasure, obviously, David Williams, George the Poet, um, Frank Cottrell Boyce. I mean, just so many great names. And I'm looking forward to getting a whole host of new ones uh, on in the new year. So do make sure that you stay tuned to Times Radio and in particular uh, to my show, Monday to Thursday, 1 to 3 p.m. I think you'll find a host of delights to lift your spirits and make your year a more entertaining one.